But we want to remember that computer and information technology and the internet was originally developed in the 1960s by the Pentagon, by its DARPA program, in cooperation with the military industrial corporations and the early tech companies. And internet and computer information technology was originally developed as technologies for warfare, counterinsurgency, surveillance, and repression. Then we get to the 1980s and the government turns over the internet to the corporate consortiums. And that's the origins of these giant these tech giants. So the tech industry is conjoined at birth to the military industrial security complex and to global police state. And we see a four-way fusion here. The giant tech firms are interlaced with the repressive state and its surveillance and repression apparatuses. They are interlaced with the banks, with transnational finance capital, which, which invests in them, which finances them. They are interlaced with the military industrial uh, corporations, all of the Silicon Valley companies, all of the ones we know, Amazon, Google, Facebook, etc. They are interlocked and cross-invested with Raytheon, with Northrop Grumman, uh, Grumman, with Lockheed Martin, and so forth. Google and all of the other big tech companies, they work with the Pentagon, the CIA, the NSA, the other intelligence and military agencies, with police forces. That's all coming out now with the repression of the BLM uh, protest. And Immigrant enforcement, all of this repression against immigrants wouldn't even be possible without the big tech industries and its big time trillion, multi trillion dollars uh, in profits for Silicon Valley. Let's remember that Bezos is the single richest, Jeff Bezos, the, the head of um, Amazon, the single richest man on the planet. He's moving his now have $200 billion to his name, uh, is a contractor and advisor to both the Pentagon and the CIA. So global police state technologically would not be possible without Silicon Valley tech companies, were, which are at the very technological and political core of global police state and are making trillions through the global police state. So I would mention that if we have this image that they're benign and liberal and so forth, that's their public relations propaganda um, and, and, and that doesn't in any way correspond to, to reality.